It is Wednesday, September 11th, 2024, and from the home studio in Middletown, Delaware, I'm Marshall Manlove. This is Delaware Sports, American Sports Reports, and beginning with field hockey action here in the first state, Delmar, shut out Wilmington Friends 4 to nothing. Jordan Holloman scored three unassisted goals to lead the Wildcats. There's Jordan. The picture of her is from last year. Six goals already for her. In those two victories for Delmar, Milford beat Laurel 11 to nothing. They improved to two and one. Bailey Maston scored three goals, as did Hannah Zimmerman for the Buccaneers. There's Bailey Maston. Archmere beat Conrad 8 0 in a Diamond State Conference matchup. Senior Maura Reed scored four goals and added an assist. Junior Sarah Doms scored three goals and also assisted on another for the Hawks. This is brought to you by me, Marshall Manlove, stage hypnotist. Please visit marshallmanlove.com to find out more about what I do for an actual living. <laughs> Not living doing this. I like doing this and all, but, you know, it's not like people are pouring uh, lots of revenue into my coffers. Tower Hill beat Wilmington Christian 10 to nothing. Sophomore Charlotte Banny scored five goals and assisted on three others. The Hillers are 2-0 and so far this year. So she's a good lacrosse player also. Remember that name, Charlotte Vanny. Tattnall beat Sanford 5-2. Sophomore Sia Satsaronis had a hat trick for the Hornets. Anastasia goes by Sia. Other field hockey games. Padua over Ursuline 2-1. It was the Gunston School from Maryland. 10-0 winners over Delmarva Christian. Woodbridge over Cesar Rodney 2-1. Cape and Lopen 2-0 winners over Lake Forest. Sussex Academy, three. Smyrna, one. Shelby Manlove with two goals. There, Polytech, three to one. Winners over St. George's. It was New York Charter beating St. Mark's, two to nothing. And the other three scores we mentioned in boys soccer. Sussex Tech and Woodbridge had a battle. Won by the Ravens, six to five. Alex Garcia had a hat trick for Sussex Tech. Wilmer Gonzalez scored three for the Blue Raiders. And it was Indian River, three. Cape Two, Gunston over Delmarva Christian, four to three, Polytech and Lake Forest played to an exciting zero to zero. Ty Smyrna over Seaford, one to nothing, Milford, four to nothing, winners over Laurel, Sussex Academy, two, Sussex Central, zero, Del Castle, five to one, winners over Dover, to Rising Sun from Maryland beat Aspira Academy, three to two, Tower Hill, two, Caravel, one, Sanford eight, eight different Warriors scored their MOT charter two Sally's three to two winners over the Charter School of Wellington. It was Christiana five, Dickinson two, St. Mark's five, William Penn zero, and Middletown beat Glasgow one to nothing. In volleyball, St. George's beat Wilmington Friends in four sets. Kayla Riley led the Hawks with 14 kills. They are two to one after three matches so far. It's a picture from last year of Kayla Riley. Tower Hill swept Sanford in three sets. Sophomore Sydney Fisher led the Hillers with 19 kills in the match. So they only scored 75 points. That's what it takes to win those three sets. So she scored over a quarter of those points. Dover outlasted Lake Forest in five sets. Junior Senator Setter Jasmine Hallam had 45 assists to lead the way to victory. Other scores, Caravelle swept Tattnall. Same result, Odessa over Glasgow. It was, uh, let's see, you don't need to mention that one. Conrad, three to nothing winners over St. Elizabeth's Newark Charter swept First State Military Academy. Archmere needed five sets to take out MOT Charter in that Diamond State Conference matchup. It was Delaware Valley Classical, three to nothing winners over Tri-State Christian from over there in Elkton. Sussex Central, 3-1 to one winners over Sussex Academy. Milford, under new head coach Mike Zampini, swept Seaford in three sets. 
It was Cesar Rodney sweeping Delmar, Cape sweeping Woodbridge, and Ursuline, three to one winners over Padua. That first set won by Padua, 31 to 29, setting up an exciting evening in that Catholic Conference matchup. Remember to submit your nominations for Delaware Sports Athletes of the Week and submit them to mysportsreports at gmail.com. Please include a picture with the nomination and the reason why, along with all the other pertinent information, and then we will pick some winners for week ending September 14th. Trying to get some results from the Lake Forest Cross Country Invitational. For some reason, they have been hard to find because I love the cross country competitions throughout the state. So if you have some results for them, maybe some pictures of some winners, please submit them to me at my sports reports at gmail.com. And now my friends, time to go. That's right. That's what the trombones mean when they are played for the second time. Now I'm just trying to find the end button. Ha, 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 ha.